All right, it's time for a New York Jets preview as this week Gang Green is back home to battle the Chicago Bears and New York Post Jets beat writer Brian Costello. He will be there in what is going to be a big game for Gang Green. Brian, how are you doing, especially after last week where you saw some rough offense up in Foxborough? Yeah, Dexter, I was just grateful it didn't go to overtime. Uh, that would have been tough to, to watch another 10 minutes of that offensive football, but uh, fortunately the game ended quickly for me. Not so fortunate for the Jets. Yeah, I'm glad we all didn't get to see any more offensive ineptitude last week in Week 11. Now, Brian, this week we're going to get the Mike White experience. As the Jets announced on Wednesday that White will start under center. Joe Flacco, he's the backup. Zach Wilson is inactive. So what do you make of the decision to bench Wilson? I don't think Wilson left Robert Sala with much choice after the game. Uh, I thought there was a chance that they would play him for the first half against Chicago, see how that went, and then make a decision at halftime later to go to Mike White. But Wilson was just dreadful in the game last Sunday, 77 passing yards. They had two total yards in the second half. The offense just wasn't functioning with him. And it's been coming for a while, Dexter. We've been talking about it. Even when they were winning, they were winning around Zach Wilson. They weren't winning because of him. And then he compounded it with his post-game comments and, and not really taking accountability. You know, that didn't go over well in the locker room. So I think Robert Sala knew he had to do something. And now we'll see how Mike White can do. We will see. Now, okay, we talked about this, how last week was a tough week for the Jets offensively. They mustered only 103 total yards, as you said, Brian, two in the second half against the Patriots. So how good does Mike White need to be this week for the Jets? And if he plays well, what does that mean for his future? He doesn't need to be that good, Dexter. It's the Bears. They stink. So the Bears are 29th in the NFL against the run. So I think the Jets will get the running game going this week, not like last week when they couldn't run the ball at all. Uh, so I think they'll lean on the running game with Michael Carter, with James Robinson, get that going. And then Mike White just has to run the offense. He doesn't have to be a hero. Just move the ball down the field, and, and they'll be fine this week. And then, yeah, if, if he keeps playing well, it's going to be Mike White. You know, I know Robert Sala said they'd like to get Zach Wilson back on the field this season, but White can stop that if he keeps going, playing well each week. The schedule gets tougher after this week. I think the Bears is a nice, soft landing spot to start this. Uh, but then they go to Minnesota. They go to Buffalo. Those are going to be two much tougher games for him. All right. The Mike White Show begins on Sunday. Here we go, Brian. Time to give you the keys. What are the keys to the Jets bouncing back and getting a home win over the Bears in Week 12? I think the key on offense is taking the pressure off of White, and they could do that by running the ball. The offensive line could do that by protecting him. The Bears do not have a good defense. They've traded two of their best players away in recent weeks. They're missing a few others with injuries. So this should be an easy game for the Jets' offense to move the ball. Then on defense – uh, you know, it depends on who the quarterback is, Dexter. If Justin Fields plays, they got to stop him from running all over the field. He's dealing with a major shoulder injury, a left shoulder injury. He's, he's going to be a game-time decision, the Bears are saying. If it's Trevor Simeon, just get after him. Jets fans remember that Browns game, right, when Trevor Simeon was the Jets quarterback and Miles Garrett was all over him. That's what it's going to take. Just get to him, uh, and, and I think the Jets can, can maybe have an easy one, Dexter, for once. Maybe you have an easy one. And to let the Jets fans know, Brian Costello did pick the Jets to win this <laughs> week. Because, you know, some people out there think Brian first, never picks the Jets to win. First time but in a while, Dexter. First, first, first time in a while. First time in a while. But you did do that. Now, lastly, Brian, this week, former cornerback Darrell Revis, he will be inducted into the Jets' ring of honor. You covered him for several seasons. For those that didn't see him play, how good was he in a Jets uniform? He's one of the best players ever put on the uniform. Dexter, right? He's in that handful of guys that you talk about with Joe Namath and Don Maynard and Curtis Martin and Joe Klecko, um, you know, that that group of guys. And that's where he's going to be in the ring of honor now. Um, you know, unfortunately, Revis's time with the Jets got there was a break in between two stints. Or I think if he had been a Jet his whole career, you know, it'd be even more special. But he was amazing uh, when he was at his peak, like 2009. You just, you just couldn't throw at him, and teams just wouldn't throw throw his way. He would just basically take half the field away. And to me, Dexter, the thing I'll always remember is how he practiced. He was the greatest practice player I ever saw. He, he was so intense in practice, 100% all the time. Uh, always demanded that out of his teammates. When he, when, if you're a scout team receiver, you better do what you're supposed to do, or, or you'd hear from it from Revis. He famously once punched a scout team receiver because he wasn't doing what Revis thought he should be doing. So he was just a very, very intense guy and just one of the greatest players that, that's ever worn the Jets uniform. Definitely one of the greats, a true shutdown corner. And you know me, I'm always happy to see another great University of Pittsburgh alum get into the Jets <laughs> ring of honor. That always makes me happy. That is Brian Costello, New York Jets beat reporter.
pick the Jets to win this week against the Bears. Brian, thank you for your time, man. All right, thanks, Dex.